the brain aneurysm was a real thing and then they mysteriously made it approved that's possible There's some foul shit that goes on behind closed doors i mean you got promoters that are pushing other people and running into crowds and calling them into the bathroom to talk like i don't know what we're doing <laughs> with that bullshit but it's some funny shit that be going on in, in spots man like i don't know it's, it's weird it's weird <laughs> you know what i'm saying i don't know <laughs> i'm just saying that if that's the case um i don't know where the bathroom thing comes that's not a silly thing that's not <laughs> that's, 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 that's a prison john that's, that's one of the things that they say in jail. like yo let me talk to you in the bathroom ain't no co's in there you know what i mean mm. I, I i get it but you're supposed to be held to a higher standard you know what i'm saying like my whole thing is oh are we talking about this is that is that what happening? I mean, you you, you already go ahead. All right, I'm just, all right, so listen, listen, listen. All I'm saying is, let's just say this shit went south. Let's just say he did go to the bathroom, but let's just say he called his bodyguards in there with him, and you got treated. What you gonna do? You 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 went in there with with the blazer and the hoodie, and came out with a rip hoodie and no blazer. You know what I'm saying? You might have got treated. I don't fucking know, but. What if it would have went the other way? What if Bernard just tuned him up? Mm. I just don't think that that's professional at your level of where you, how you should be conducting Ooh. yourself. Like you're you're a promoter, you're a promoter with De La Hoya. Don't even act like that. He gave and him, De La Hoya do some crazy. He say crazy shit, but he don't act like that. He gave him the John Cena shoulder tackle. Yeah, he, he said, Ugh, and then took four steps and then turned around like, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I just killed that shit. It's kind of like you pushed him. And it ran through a crowd knowing that someone was going to spread, this, break the shit up. Mm -hmm. But Bill kept, his, Bill kept his composure. Bill didn't break character. He didn't do what he got to do. I'm just saying that I know people in the city who had their issues with certain people. I just want to know, would you have pushed other guys in this city who are Hall of Fame trainers and also coaches who get a lot of love and publicity and they also don't like them? I'm just saying, would you still call them into the bathroom? Like, would have Bernard went to Bo and said, yo, let me talk to you in the bathroom real quick. Bo probably be like, hey, man, hey, man, I don't go to that bathroom shit, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> he probably would have done that. Would have Bernard did that shit to Greg? I don't know. I'm not there. I don't know Bernard. You know what I mean? So I just think that that whole matter is funny. And I'm sorry that this shit just went completely fucking left. From the Tony Week situation. But all Bo, I'm saying is. Bo and Greg would have got that shit popping right there. Listen, Greg don't hold his tongue. Bo don't hold his tongue either. However, you know, there's a, some, some level of respect that needs to be there. And at the end of the day, I can't see Bill Haney saying anything brutally disrespectful that made you act like that. That's not fucking cool. Now, if you was at the, I think the WBA convention. And you witness the ball spit in, uh, uh, in Samson's face, and you want to take him into the bathroom? That's cool. Tune him up. You know what I'm saying? But Bill, what did Bill do? Bill just he talks his shit, he backs his shit up, and he defends his son. What the fuck is wrong with that? I'm pretty sure everybody on earth who has a son that is in Dev's in Dev's position will do the same. Shout out to Bill, man. <laughs>